They say LA is the factory of dreams and uh, you have captured that beautifully in La La Land through a romantic uh, story. Uh, the question is, can romance coexist um, with Hollywoodic, uh, alongside Hollywoodic ambitions because one is about sharing and the other is about being selfish. It's mm -hmm. a very selfish endeavor. Yeah, I think that in a way that, that that was it in a nutshell in terms of the 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 question I wanted to pose and like the story I wanted to tell was uh, and it's somewhat similar to the story that I was uh, you know telling in Whiplash. Obviously, there it's not Hollywood ambition, but that idea of artistic ambition um, is obviously a very private um, and yeah, in in some ways self-serving kind of endeavor. Um, and what happens when you have to balance that with other people or with just even just life in general, you know? Um, so I guess it's something that I, you know, have, you know, have kind of struggled with or dealt with myself. And uh, so it's a very personal thing to write about. It's, it kind of comes out easily for me, so I, I, uh, that subject matter. So um, it was particularly interesting for me to write about that in this case through the prism of a musical. And musicals are all about that balance, I think, between dreams and reality and going in and out of dreams. Um, so it seemed like the right genre to explore. Uh, this question through. This place is nice. I really like the music that they play. Bob Ellis on the drums. <laughs> Whiplash was a bit more trauma traumatic yeah. than this one. Mm -hmm. um, and the, it, uh, the character in Whiplash was struggling, working really hard, and it was almost torture. Where here they relied more on luck. Mm -hmm. um, do you see this, the difference? It's the Hollywoodic difference versus the, that, that struggling young man yeah well there there is that sort of that old hollywood dream of uh you know you know being discovered at a soda fountain and you know the, the, that, that that sort of um uh, that fairy tale idea um is still it's an old school idea but it's still very palpable and it's part of the reason why a lot of people flood to la still to be discovered um uh but what i wanted to do as well was you know was acknowledge that fairy tale but also and play with it but also um you know, tell a story about the 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 struggles of these two artists and the work that they do have to do, and the the, the also the, the the search for an identity. You know, especially when you're when you're young artists struggling to make it and trying to figure out who you are in a city like L.A. that is full of, you know, full of uh, signs and and uh, uh, and and uh, examples of things that you might want to be. You know, and you have to kind of clear away everything and find yourself and it's not always easy in a place like uh, like LA um, so I think it was that journey that journey that process of self-discovery and uh, and really uh, uh, self-fulfillment that um, that I wanted to kind of explore but why did you choose music to tell uh, this story is it because this is the language you feel comfortable with or because the story necessitated the use of music to tell it to me, the story necessitated it, or, or actually in a way that the music came first, in the sense that I, I knew I wanted to do a musical and I knew the themes that I wanted to explore through the musical. Um, and, uh, and I guess I think part of the reason why I can't, I have a hard time separating the two, is just that I do feel that musicals are the best genre for, for examining dreams versus reality, you know? And uh, uh, you go in and out of song, just like you go in and out of uh, dreams or fantasy. Um, and, and the fact that musicals are never purely fantasy, they always have a, a foot in the real world. Um, so I wanted this movie to, to, you know, to operate by those you know, genre conventions, but, uh, but use them to you know, hopefully tell a very grounded, realistic story about, about these two artists. Um, but I think that the genre itself felt to me like the ideal vehicle through which to, uh, through which to tell it. Is this the start?